use thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, uh -huh. lest the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. That now, so the land is full of wickedness. Now, what happens when the land becomes full of wickedness? The most high, now we end up here. Slavery, captivity. This is how wow. God, God judges us. Okay? So let's go back. So now we read, you got to come back. So how are you going to break uh, that out? Uh, so let me mention, let me yes, sir. Let me it off for you. So, because he didn't finish it. So what are some of the things that we do, he asked, that's going to cause us to, to prostitute our daughters. And you guys are the daughters of Israel. What do we do to ourselves? What are we doing? And what can we change? What do you, what, what, can you help me out with that? Yep. Dressing like the way we dress. That's one of the, right? The way we dress. The way we dress. Uh, uh, putting, um, if you, you got daughters, do you have any children? I got a son. You got a son or you have a daughter? Yeah, I have my daughter. So can you imagine? You, there was a time where, where a, a, a father who had a daughter would care about how she dressed. Right. You got makeup on? You got them short shorts on? Why? Because he didn't want to cause his daughter to be a whore. That's really prostituting your daughter for her to, to cause her to be a whore. Something as simple as the way we dress. Right. Influences our behavior. It influences our attitude. When you think about it, think about what, what the Bible say, uh, uh, Romans 7 and 14. Don't go no, I got well, two scriptures. Romans 7 and 14. Bring it Watch this. Read that. God's law. When you think about a religion, right? You can see a, a Muslim from a mile away. That's his religion. He's, right. oh, he's a Muslim. He got the little kufi on, whatever. Right. You know, the way he carry himself. The, the, that, that oil, that, what's that, that beard must oil, whatever he got on. You can smell it real strong, whatever. You know what I mean? They got something that pertains to their culture. When, when you see God's chosen people, you should be able to see it's like from a mile away. Right. Because right. it's spiritual. Watch what the Bible says. Go ahead. The book of Romans chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. For we know that the law is spiritual. The law is spiritual. The laws of God is spiritual. He read earlier in Timothy 2 and 9 where it says that women should adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right? Because check this out. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. Guess what? You got your, your dress on. Right. Your, your, Going a little bit past the knees, you good there, you ain't tight, you know, like, like a hooker, right? You good, it's flowing, you beautiful, right? But right. guess what? The shorter that dress get, the more immodest it get, guess what happens to your morale, to your morality? You start to lay your morals on the floor. You see that? Right. The, the, the more skimpy your attire, the less your morale. Why? Because God's law is spiritual. He wants you to have a high morale, have a right. higher cool. respect for yourself. That's right. That's right. Right. The That's right. more immodest you dress, the less respect you have for yourself, the more you're willing to do out here. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? So God says, especially in the way that we dress, do not prostitute your daughters to cause them to go out there and be a whore. Something as simple as putting on a dress, a modest dress, dressing modestly, right. will really influence your character and the way you appreciate yourself. Before, one more before you go, please. I'm going to give you a law. I want to give you, so we got the law on the pants, right? Now, you know today is the Sabbath, right? Yeah. What are you supposed to do on the Sabbath? What you got to go do? I'm, we're gonna oh, let you I got to go. go get my kids. Okay, but yeah, you got to get your kids, right? So let's get, um, let's see, uh, are we supposed to buy? Can we buy and sell on the Sabbath? Can we go in the store and buy uh, groceries and some snacks and things of that nature? Okay, the Bible in uh, Exodus 28 says, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. So this is a holy day. Remember, the Most High God created the heavens and earth, and the seven day rested. So He sanctified this day. So let's get that. Uh, yeah, get that Nehemiah. Can we buy and sell? The Book of Nehemiah. Now you understand that you got to come back to greatness by changing the dress dress code, right? So once you, before you get that, we're gonna finish that dress code off. You see the brothers? What they got on the bottom of their of their gear? Look at the Native American Indian. This is a dress code. What do you? What do these sisters have on the bottom of their on their gear? Their clothes. They got dresses on, but what do you see on the bottom? This is rounding out the dress code. This is your royal garment. So they got fringes on the bottom. See, they got fringes. The Native American, you look at a lot of the mo uh, Westerns and stuff, you'll, you'll see them depicted with fringes on the bottom of their garment. So here, the, this is going to round off your dress code. So once you come up, you know, get a nice, modest top, top cover your deal up, your chest up, because you don't want brothers. Those right there, that's for your husband to look at. Not for him to lust that. Okay? Not for all these brothers, because all they're going to do is get at you, deal with you accordingly, and go on to the next. Possibly leave you with a youngster. And then your mind is going to be all jacked up because you're dealing with man after man. So you don't want to stop that. This has got to make a change. And then teach other women later, okay? Let's get that. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. You know, this is tightening up the dress code. Speak unto the children of Israel. Because you're from the tribe of Judah, and you're from the tribe of Judah, Judah sis, okay? And bid them that they make them fringes. Command them, huh? 
make them bridges in the borders of their garments okay. throughout their generation. Why do we do this? What are these fringes for? Okay. What and, do they represent? And that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders a ribbon of blue. Uh -huh. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. Well, okay, the fringe is to do what? That ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. All the commandments of the law. Because if you read the history on this, a man was going out on the Sabbath. He was picking up sticks to make a fire. All right? So this way, the Most High God said, I'm going to put fringes. And that man happened to get put to death under the Old Testament. But under the law, you have mercy and grace. You have a time period. So you got to make that change. So these fringes are to remind you to keep God's law. Just like for a brother. If he was about to do some dirt, you know, before you go in there and do five-finger discount, you go to steal something. What, what is the person? When somebody executes something wickedly, what do they normally do first thing they do? Look down, right? Ah, uh, this time I'm going to do this thing before you go steal. Let me get this five-finger discount. Oh, my fringe is down. Thou shalt not steal. Right. Brother want to get at you. Get, get in to get those yammies, right? What's he going to do? Ah, uh, damn. Thou shalt not commit fornication. Ah, uh, look down. Oh, thou shalt not commit adultery. Before you got to lift your dress up, you look down and see your fringe. Oh, thou shalt not commit fornication. Thou shalt not steal. So these are to remind us. So once you come back, next time we come out here, you should have a nice dress on. You should be out in the pants. You should have a nice dress with fringes on it, right? Am I right? Yeah. So My was a 22-year-old that was found in the back of the car. Found in the back of the car. Uh, last week, Friday the 12th. Last week. can help but fall as candles burn in memory of 22-year-old Zambresha Works. Her body was disturbingly found after she had been beaten to death and left in the backseat of a 2017 Dodge Journey on Stahela near the season changing, we go harder. Barely get sleep ahead. The streets, I got my guard up. I know we probably did some things that we not proud of. That's why the father had to leave us at the bottom.
be hitting that Jack Daniels and so just a little sipper sis and that's about it but when you start chipping and falling and, and, and coming out your out your dropping everything it, it, that's a problem right now you're in sin now you're in wickedness read on to love their husbands love your husband so you got to learn how to love your husband you got because women don't know how to love their husband nowadays man I ain't doing that <laughs> no I ain't doing that no this is mine you can get your own right so you got to teach the young women read on to, to love their husband to love their children to love they, they don't love their children Drop them off at grandma, grandpa, 24-7, 365. Where the girl at? Right. She at the club getting out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Having more babies after babies and dropping them off at grandma's and at your brothers and sisters. But she ain't taking care of her kids. Read on. To be discreet. To be discreet. Chase. Uh, all in men. Man, I, man, I told you no. Uh, uh, chest bumping men and all that. No. Don't be in man's face. Be so fall back. Be shamefaced. No, yes, sir. No, sir. Nothing wrong with being respectful, being chaste. Not, that's being discreet. All right? Keepers at home. Are sisters discreet nowadays? No. They loud. No, everybody face is showing everything. Loud, huh? All right. Mm -hmm. You know they are. Come on. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.